What's up, y'all? Welcome back to AV. Today, I got a review for you on the Nautilus Prime 40 watts. Let's get into it. This was sent to me from Aspire for the purpose of this review. Thank you very much. I'm not going to change my opinion of this 40 watt device pod system uh yeah it's made by aspire it's compatible with all the nautilus coils <clears throat> comes at a 0.7 and a 1.8 we're gonna di quickly dive down show it to you go through it come back up top pros and cons final thoughts sit tight so what's up guys this is the package that the aspire nautilus prime comes in this is the uh peacock blue comes in red blue and green it's gonna come like this you're gonna get your Nautilus Prime. Use a manual, USB type C cable for charging. You're gonna get two coils. Nautilus coils is a 1.8 ohm and a 0.7 mesh ohm coil with the blue O-ring. This is good for restrictive direct lung and this is good for obviously mouth to lung. The Nautilus 2S goes 20 to 25 watts on this one, 10 to 14 watts on the 1.8 ohm. This is compatible with all Nautilus coils as well. <clears throat> so, here it is. It says Nautilus Prime, Aspire. It's a 40 watt output. <clears throat> it's got a 2000 milliamp hour internal APO battery. Okay. <clears throat> Holds 3.4 mLs of e-liquid in this. 3.4 mLs. Pretty crazy how it holds. It holds a lot of e-liquid. It's uh, 89.5 millimeters long. 45 millimeters wide, 23 millimeters thick. Anodized aluminum alloy body. <clears throat> All right. And the pod material is PCTG. Okay. It's got bypass mode in this as well. But uh, you got holes for ventilation on the bottom, a little bit of chrome, chrome on the top. Then you have your pod adjustable airflow. All the way this way is uh, direct. Restrictive direct lung, and then you could pull that all the way to the left, and that is mouth to lung, and you can go in between. Airflow is going to come in from here, go down, and then back up to the coil. You got your wattage up and wattage down. You got your USB Type C right there. Two amp quick charging. You got your OLED screen right there, and then you have your pod. You pull that out. Got some connections right there, and then you have your PCTG pod. Now, this is where it gets a little interesting for me. Let me make that a little bit brighter for you. Now, as you can see, this is the fill port, right? It holds 3.4 mLs of e-liquid. All right, you have a drip tip up top. You could take that out and use your own 510 drip tips. I like that it's stainless steel. That's nice. It fits on there very nicely. The drip tip's very comfortable. Now, if you look at the fill, it's grommet. It's a rubber grommet, but it has a stainless steel uh to hold the piece in right so you could pull that open you can fill it right there it's nice that it's sideways good to go now that i mean that that's not going to go anywhere that's on there secure now what they did here i, I don't really understand so this is held on by an o-ring all right so this pops in by an o-ring right and then you put you're going to screw the coil in there you're going to prime it up all right and then you're going to put it back in so i mean there is room here for leaking you know, they should have had this screw in or something. You know, uh, I, I just, I don't know. There is a lip, like on the old school RDAs that, you know, might, I, I just, I, 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 I don't like how they did that. Anyways, um, so you fill it up, you get the coil in there, you take the coil like this, for anybody that doesn't know, and you can screw that coil in there like so, all right, prime it. And then you're just going to literally stick it in. It doesn't matter which way. And it goes in there like that. And none is the wiser. Clicks in there very nicely. Pull it out there like that. And then it clicks in very nice. You can see your e-liquid right there. So this is the red one I've been testing. This is Nautilus Prime. Or at least it's not like kind of, it's kind of minimal how they did that. Same color, you know. But if I pull this off, see how there's e-liquid in there? See that e-liquid? Yeah, you see, it just, I, 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 I'm not surprised, you know, that that might leak. So here's the screen. 
Wattage down goes by 0.1. Goes up to all the way to 40 watts. Three clicks. Bypass. Three clicks back on. Five clicks. Locks it. Five clicks. Unlocks it. Fire the wattage up. We'll lock the buttons, unlock the buttons, bypass a variable wattage that you have on it. You can see your e-liquid in here pretty good. That's next to the Pesito 2. That is the close-up of the Nautilus Prime. Let's go back up top, vape on a pros and cons, final thoughts. Back from the close-up on the Nautilus Prime by Aspire. So what am I going to tell you about this uh, Nautilus Prime? Hopefully, maybe it looks a little bit better. I added some RGB, but it's still not coming in as well as it should. I don't know. Anyways, so, um, yeah, it goes to 40 watts. It comes with the 0.7 mesh direct, restricted direct lung and a 1.8 ohm Nautilus coil mouth to lung. Uh, the airflow on it is like really good for the the wattage that you're getting off this. Um, I have it about, uh, I showed it to you down below. That's where I like it. And uh, I have it at 25 watts, 7 8. Man. 1.8 ohm is a good coil. We've It's the same coils we've seen on other Aspire products. They didn't come out with a new coil for this Nautilus Prime. I mean, it is called the Nautilus Prime. I think having a Nautilus Prime, they should have came out with maybe, I don't know, a Prime coil, maybe an additional coil, uh, something different that would pertain to this device to have it kind of like new, you know? But it uses the same Nautilus coils as <clears throat> other Aspire Nautilus devices has in the past. But with that said... I love their coils, man. I, I must say, 25 watts on this, dude. It's a 0.72 it's showing up as. Really nice. Great flavor on it. Um, great throat hit I even get from a 3 milligram. If I had 6 milligram in here, it would be perfect. I do, I wish I did have six milligram. I have to buy some six, six milligram e-liquid. But um, airflow is really nice. Mouth to lung. It's definitely mouth to lung. Um, restrictive direct lung wide open. It's nice, man. I like it a little bit closed down. You know, I like two of those holes, two of those circles showing. I got some uh, PB and Jam strawberry inside by Jam Monster. Fape's fantastic out of this thing. 2,000 milliamp hours pro. Uh, USB Type C for two amp quick charging pro. Bypass mode, stealth mode, variable wattage mode. I like that. Pro. Very easy to get the pod in and out and fill it. Pro. Nice fire button. Clicky, responsive. I like it. It feels good in the hand. Now, the fire button placement is kind of like the way you have to hold it. You don't want to cover the front airflow in the front with your finger. So it's a thumb. So it's kind of, I don't like the orientation of where they put the fire button on this. It should have been on the, maybe the front below the airflow so you would hit the fire button and then you wouldn't be blocking it but when you hit the thumb there depending on if you wrap your index finger around the top you're going to cover the airflow in the front and it's you don't want to cover the airflow so it's kind of like a weird feeling device it doesn't really sit in my hand comfortably uh not comfortably it it just it, it it's not intuitive on a way to hold it it, it kind of i'm still trying to figure out where to hold it like, I kind of hold it with my hand out of the way. Or you could hold it like this, you know? But it doesn't feel natural. It feels like you're, you're trying to hold something to not block the airflow. If I hold it a little bit lower, and then the thumb has to come up. It's just not a comfortable holding device, like where the fire button is. If the fire button was... 
in the front below the airflow, you could just hold it right there and you'd be good to go. I don't know why they put the fire button there. So I kind of hold it like that. It's about um, 40 bucks, depending on where you look. You know, do your Googling. This thing vapes great. I really enjoy how this thing vapes. Um, I think their coils are pretty consistent. Uh, I don't get too much leaking from the bottom, but like I showed you and mentioned, when I pull it up, there is actual leaking going on from the bottom. Um, and I could see that getting possibly maybe worse over time later on down the road. I do definitely recommend the Nautilus Prime. I like it. Good battery life. Flavor is on point. One to 10 with this type of device. I'm going to have to give it about an 8.5, maybe even a 9 on flavor for a 40 watt device. Um, it's up there. I really do enjoy it. I think they built it. I think it looks seamless and nice. And I don't know what else to tell you about it, but I definitely recommend it. That's what I got for you today, guys. Hope you found the video helpful, informative. Stay juiced up, screw lighting up. Don't waste your bandwidth not being subscribed to the channel. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.